Hi everybody, welcome to Get Indie Gaming, where today we're taking a quick look at Planet Alpha. If you haven't done so, why not take a quick look at our website, getindiegaming.com, where we're coming at you with the latest reviews, news and features. And with that, let's crack on with the review. Planet Alpha gets going with you, a slightly elongated humanoid within a classic 1950s sci-fi looking spacesuit, limping slowly across a barren looking planet. You're alone and clearly not in the best of shape. A few scenes and a few minutes later, you collapse at the mouth of the cave, only to wake up a few moments later once more as fit as the proverbial fiddle. It's an odd start to the game and if we're honest, the relevance of this to the story is never really explained. Over the course of a five or so our playthrough, you tackle a fairly diverse and yet standard set of questions, such as the nature and cost of war, what sets biological entities apart from machines, and a few other queries in relation to nature and living ecosystems. Thankfully, Planet Alpha sets about these questions without delving into plain old navel gazing, something that's so very easy to do when tackling these topic areas. Developed out of Denmark by an ever so small group of developers, we are mightily impressed with how Planet Alpha looks. It's natural to compare it to say No Man's Sky, and yet for us, the artwork here with its low poly stylings certainly trumps the latter. You'll find yourself playing across barren deserts, ancient temples, and deep dark caves. Within these locations you'll find beautifully animated creatures ranging from actual space whales down to anemones and jelly-like fish that add depth and additional atmospherics. We found ourselves wanting a photo mode to capture some of these environments, and it's amazingly frustrating to find pausing the game obscures these views with a menu. That being said, compared to other aspects of annoyance, this is exceptionally trivial. Aside from these visuals, Planet Alpha feels frustratingly shallow. While the game splits into platforming, puzzles and stealth, each of these offerings are sadly on the slim side of things. The stealth sections are for us the real low point, with the gameplay often following a trial and error approach to progression. On numerous occasions, we hide thinking we're safe only to get one hit killed by an enemy laser. In others, the smallest movement alert sets the enemy robots off towards us, and at the other end of the scale, you can at times avoid a chasing enemy by simply hiding in the grass, even if the robot is watching you before you go into cover. The sections where you find yourself sliding down a slope are equally frustrating. Here you manoeuvre your character over and under obstacles, and yet in these scenes, the platforming is often so imprecise we die without knowing how or why we missed a ledge that seems easily within reach. Thankfully, Planet Alpha offers many checkpoints, so in general there's not too too much ground to recover following these instances of surprising death. One other aspect which is so underused is the player's ability to change the time of the day to help puzzles. By turning the day into night, new plants emerge or paths once blocked become passable. It's a fairly unique attempt at something interesting, although in use this mechanic feels simplistic and falls somewhat flat. For example, mushrooms create a path to walk upon in hours of darkness, and come the sun they get eaten by a host of little critters. At times, feeling unsure of what to do to progress, simply hitting the day to night button is usually enough to figure out the way forward. Aside from the art, Planet Alpha does doesn't really ever get going. While it asks interesting questions, the gameplay implementation based upon our playthroughs feels suboptimal throughout. We're happy to have played it, and sure, Planet Alpha looks great, and by that we mean really great, although we feel your time and waged earnings would be better spent on other things. And with that, sadly we're not able to recommend Planet Alpha, but if you do have any thoughts upon this or any other video, or even some suggestions of games you'd like to see us review, please let us know in the comments section below. Many thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more indie game news, information, lists, and so on and so forth very, very soon.